consider the following statements about pushback reusable landing vehicle experiment recently pushback reusable landing vehicle experiment has been done by isro and this is some third experiment also here you see at present the rockets are just going away to launch the satellites and they are not coming back some of the parts they may be moving in some orbits some of the parts may be becoming space debris some of the parts are burning out in the atmosphere this is the present state of this PSLV GSLV or this small satellite launch vehicle which is under development but reusable launch vehicles for example Falcon 9 of SpaceX Falcon 9 of SpaceX in the United States of America already launching this or you can say already using this reusable rockets right particular part one particular part is coming back to earth and India is developing prototypes or you can say experiments to achieve that goal Pushpak is one such experiment towards reusable launch vehicles and it is being piloted by a space startup is wrong it is being piloted by ISRO ISRO's prestigious project it is the technology demonstrator that paves the way for reusable rockets absolutely correct nowhere in the world reusable rockets are used this is wrong at present the reusable rockets are extensively used by SpaceX in the United States of America that is the Falcon 9 series of rockets right so A is the right option here National Disaster Management Act 2005 in fact National Disaster Management Act that is the genesis for many of the activities Ministry of Home Affairs is the nodal authority for implementing this act the State Disaster Response Fund National Disaster Response Fund these have genesis in this National Disaster Management Act 2005 and recently it is into the news because of heat waves heat waves are not part of the notified disasters in fact if you look at strf 75 percent of the money under strf that is provided by the center for the normal states for the northeastern and himalayan states 90 percent of the money to strf that comes from the central government and there are 12 notified disasters and for these 12 notified disasters whenever money is not available from STRF the money can be utilized from the National Disaster Response Fund subject to some guidelines subject to the approval from the committee from the central government so therefore when the disaster is a notified disaster there are 12 notified disasters and these 12 notified disasters they when something happens for such type of disasters some natural calamity happens and when the natural calamity is one of those 12 disasters not only the money from strf but also subject to the approval money can be utilized from this national disaster response fund and as far as expanding this list 15th finance commission said there is no need to expand this list this list is sufficient what will happen when something is not in this notified disaster that means for example heat waves heat waves are not in the list of this 12 notified disasters maintained by the center then the state government can treat this as a local disaster 
it is not a notified disaster but some local calamity and up to 10% of the funds in the SDRF they can be utilized for those local disasters which are not part of the notified disasters. Here you see, Ministry of Home Affairs is the nodal body that governs the execution of this act, absolutely correct. Formation of the State Disaster Response Fund and National Disaster Response Fund have genesis in this act, absolutely correct. Money cannot be spent from SDRF unless a natural calamity is notified as a disaster at the national level. This is wrong. The natural calamity, if it is not among the notified disasters, even then, up to 10% of the STRF money can be used. But when it is among the notified disasters, they can utilize the money even from NDRF subject to approval. Right? So, limited powers are given for the local disasters, you can say. So, here B is the right option for this 52nd question. Have a nice day. Thank you.